sorry my video just went out uh there'll be times where she just wants these voices to be gone and she didn't know how to do it these voices would promise her riches they promise her she's gonna win the lottery jackpot they promise her all types of things that she wants basically and every day of her life for 40 years none of those promises came true for 40 years she battled this voice to skull abuse and when she was getting close to getting rid of these voices that's also when she fell into the trap when they start talking about things that she likes let's go to casino you're gonna win the lottery You were chosen because you have, you can have a good life. You have a lot of money. But during that time, she was spending most of her money. These voices, the voice to skull. I realized the happier you are, the more pissed off they get or the more frustrated they get because when I am happy I just do my own thing I mean I, I don't even care to listen to any voice of skull like I can just I can focus on what I'm doing just block them as it has gotten to that point where I just if they become overwhelmingly talking trash to me or talking too much I'm really mean. Like, I'm just so mean. I'll, I'll, I'll spend like five minutes nonstop just bashing on them, you know, talking trash. I'll make it easy for me, though. Like, usually just repeating the same phrase or, or same sentence, something that, something that just hits them, you know, really bothers them. Or I'll just do the, you know, like some chant. And I can block these guys, or I know ways of just suppressing them. And they don't want you guys to be happy because when you're happy, when you have money, man, when you have money, there's just so much stuff you can do, right? You wouldn't be stressed until it started catching up to you. But that will not happen if you have the no fear mentality. If you have money as a tool, you're a good person, you have no fear mentality, you can do a lot of good for this world. A lot of problems are just created by us or we overemphasize on problems. We want to be oversensitive on, on anything or, or things, just something so minor. It's easier to just tell yourself, whatever. Don't even stress over it. Back to my story. So for 40 years, she, she was taking these verbal abuse and nothing came true. That's what she wrote in her diary. And now, okay, now, why is that story so important? Now, here's, here's the thing. Think about it. 4 a.m. in the morning. This was mentioned for about 45 seconds. 
I was awake and I heard it. That stuck with me because as soon as I heard it, right away I knew these are just like the gang stalkers because they have told me many times before that, let's go to casino. See, when I'm kicking their ass, they, they like to become sissies, right? But sissy is also a tactic. So don't ever put your guards down. My job is not even finished until I figure the easiest way to get rid of these game stalkers. And I hope you guys out there can help me. Now that piece of news information is so important. It made me realize Never trust these gang stalkers. Never trust them. Never do anything for them because as soon as you start doing things for them, they're going to make you do more things for them. Or they want you to do more things for them. And... The more you talk to them, the more you have these situations as in friendly conversation or whatever you call it. It's like building a relationship. It'll be harder for you to get rid of them in the end. So don't become too friendly with them. And know you're in the driver's seat. Don't forget that. They can attack you intensely for about 15, 20 minutes. Don't stand in the same spot. Don't stay in the same spot. You need to move around. But they can really intense you, intensely attack you. But guess what? After about 20, 30 minutes, they'll get weak. And you and I know we can go for way longer than 20, 30 minutes. There are days when I talk trash, I'll, I'll do it for four hours. I'll be sweating. And I can do it. Like I, I'm sure some TIs have those like just can't take any more moments, right? I went through plenty of those. One well, just top of my lungs just like talking trash every time they, they try to say something I'll just talk trash and I'll feel great it's like I'm just boosting my own soul like that spirit within me just getting powerful I see it as act of self defense so don't believe in any trickeries I know some of you are very religious and you can't use all these methods that I am teaching you guys or sharing with you guys. But that's fine. Just find your way. Work around it. As long as your core is no fear. You're in the driver's seat. And you have to empower your own spirit. Now, empowering your own spirit, what that means is there's so much negative thoughts, negative abuse, negative situations that's going on in your mind. Negative scenarios, negative what if. Curiosity, you know, like all these negative stuff. Your spirit is, is weakened. You need to empower your spirit by envisioning your own self, but in a positive way. In a harmonious way. And you have to become the judge of what is the negative thoughts and what 
or thoughts that just don't deserve to be in your mind and you need to stop those thoughts that will take practice it will take you years yes one thing I would talk about I love talking about time frame because a solution you know problem solution but the solution is like okay it's just a solution but when I add in the time frame now all of a sudden it's like whoa it's heavier it's gonna take you guys years of understanding how to empower your mind to use positive reinforcement to counter all these negative and also how to recognize these negative thoughts coming in you know it's just negative it as in like moral or it's just a hurtful thing a painful thing to do to someone or or it's just bad for society for humanity for for people in general and anything that inflict pain and suffering to a different soul so those type of thoughts how it enters your mind is it will just kind of like when you have your guards down right just casually watching TV whatever watching TV is the best way for them to enter your mind that's why you know there's that saying oh watching TV is bad for people well now I know why because if you don't understand when you're watching TV or Netflix or anything like that what you're watching is like it's like these different situations for them to gang stalkers to generate the same situation inside your mind kind of put you as the center of it and then all of a sudden it just goes into this really negative direction recognize those moments stop the thoughts soon enough you'll realize oh shoot they're not even my thoughts yeah oh before I go I know it's a long video but if you really want help I'll, I hope you're still watching this because the information I'm sharing with you is very uh, necessary for you to overcome what's happening And I hope you guys can actually subscribe and comment more into my videos because I know there are a lot of activities and, and that's great, excellent. The more the better. And like the video, that's that helps too. I mean, there are a lot of TIs out there who are desperate and, and they could use these information that I'm sharing and just by you liking my videos or just spreading it, you know, copy paste into a forum, whatever people that needs help, you think they could use my help. See, your mindset's got to be positive moving forward. Just don't think about, you know, if you get anything back in return, just if you or on the forum and you see someone struggling and you didn't remember when my video could help boom 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 just share with them don't worry about if you're gonna get anything back in return don't worry about oh gang stalkers gonna be stressed out or they're gonna be really uh, threatening you all those little fears let that shit go now one thing if these gang stalkers tell you they can see you, you ask them to prove it. And I just thought about how can I get them to prove? You know what? I only have about 40 seconds left of memory. I'm gonna save this for my next video. 
I hope you enjoy this information I'm sharing with you. And be ready. It's about to get intense in a good way. Don't hurt no one. Don't hurt yourself. Stay calm. Relax. No fear. You should know by now that you're very important. And all this is going to come together. I'm going to bed now. Shimon, signing out.